Hi everyone, so I'll quickly go over the Merge 2 version uh, 2 and what's new. Uh, among other things, there is also new how to install it, so I'll do uh, quickly over that. Uh, once you download the uh, Merge 2 version 2, extract it. As usual, some files are here uh, where you have to copy them uh, into, into appropriate places, such as... Uh, you know, doc your documents, Maya. Um, so first thing, let's go with the icons. So copy the entire folder, right into the Maya user version to 18, perhaps icons and paste it in, in there, entire folder, right? I already have it, so I won't do that. The next thing is the measure, measure preferences UI, copy those. Uh, this one goes into the so documents Maya 218 and so now it preferences but it's here in scripts right and paste it here so I already have it here so and that's it for the uh, copy pasting now you can open Maya and open the uh, general and script editor so you can open the script where you downloaded it in a measure tool so okay I'll measure tool version 2.0 Okay, select all, middle mouse, drag it into the shelf, and then you can uh, edit it a little bit, delete this part, you can add uh, the icon into measure to icons, uh, shelf icon, and I think that should be it, right? So we have it here. Now, there is a couple of new things uh, here with the tools. Uh, among other things, uh, there is uh, also some changes in UI. Uh, so let's go quickly over everything. Now, first thing is that we have uh, before we have we have only distance. Now we can measure the angle. Now, how we do that is by let's say we have a plane. So how you measure the angle, right? We have we have to do uh, select the three vertices. So first one is the middle one, and then uh, two on the border, like on the edge. So you want to measure this angle, right? So we select this first, per first, and then uh, two vertices or far end of of that. So when you do that, we have uh, one uh, 122 degrees. So uh, the vertices doesn't don't have to be on the on the edges, right? You can, for example, uh, this one to be, and then measure between this and this. So basically, you want to measure the angle from this going through this through this. So this angle here, right? Now, one thing to uh, keep in mind with this how Maya also works is let's say we have angle like this. So we measure the angle it's 143 so if we have it on flat uh, do it again we have 180 right which makes sense but the interesting thing is when we want to measure more than 180 right uh, so we select the this one this one and this one and so we get 137 what we kind of expected to um, what it might have did actually it was measure this angle right and we wanted to measure the entire like 180 plus something would be 200 or something so in that case if you want to measure the uh, uh, the longest let's say angle you have to press if you hold if you um, uh, hover over this button you should get the left mouse button does calculate the angle then when you press shift left mouse button it corrects the angle so this angle to the correct angle right so we have 222 right which means that if let's go like this and we measure it we get 44 but we have one two on the other side the other right so shift left click and we have 215 so basically that's how uh, this works uh, the next thing here would be, would be, would be for the, 
okay let's do the measure so now you have the uh, as before you have the distance tool creation and then you have the constraint right and then so the how this worked by default before is that you want to measure let's say uh, this two and then to and it perfectly measure right from this to this first but it's sometimes uh, certain cases uh, let's see where I am so on the side view so we wanted not to measure like distance from this versus to this one but we want to measure uh, from this one how is until this right on this uh, length here so this was uh, possible before but you have to do like selection of uh, locator and move it and whatnot and now you have the option to do that many um, automatically let's say and how it works is uh, let me remove this one so first selecting uh, this one and this one and then we want to measure the on y-axis and we choose one of this right y-axis only and we get this kind of a thing so we get the distance between you know uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the what's the length between this height height between this vertices and this one if you go in the front view as you can see and then this works obviously for all uh, like let's say from we want to measure from this to this one and then on Z right like this and then of course if you want to all which means for x y and z and this means also it works as before uh, measure to work right and then gives you like this so interesting part is uh, this is also uh, can be used with the constraints which means that let's say you want to um, go the same like this and then y constrain it right so what happens is that if you let's say move this one and then you can get this one, right or you want to let's say measure between this one and this one which is on uh, X let's go to top view right so we can move this part only right or well, as before on z axis z and constrain it so we get this part how much is it right handy um another thing is that i also separated before it was like um you have one button to clear uh distance tools in the scene and then right then you can right click and you would get the uh, now to uh, clear only the selected ones but now you have two buttons so this one is uh, delete selected right you can select this one and select and delete set and then this one deletes everything in the scene so basically this let's do this once again let's so this works on the obviously on multiple objects which can also be handy let's say we want to uh, see what's the distance between you know this uh between this cube so let's say between this this distance here so you always uh, the, the one thing to keep in mind is that the uh, distance tools are created on the uh first selected verses so right so between this and this and you want to see on x and this so it's select. so here is created distance tool first selected right see and then we can create between this and this one it's on Y right so we have like Z right so we have this kind of a uh, measuring uh, option 
clear all. Uh, what else? It's new. Ah, the for the UI based new. It's it's now you have the drop down thing. So if you don't use this uh, conversion to units, you can just hide it and drop down, right? And this is saved with the uh, what you do. Like for example, I want to do it like this, and if you close the UI and open it, you will have it like this. Or if you like do this, open it. It will always be open if you that you use a lot. Um. Another, uh, so an added couple of things in the option and uh, quick how to UV. This is uh, just something to do with the usual problem. Uh, let's say if we have two cubes, right? I created them and then they have the same uh, UVs basically. So uh, if we do combine of those, we basically have two sets of UVs on top of each other, which uh, doesn't work for the uh, measure tools uh, we don't want to have overlapping uvs so what happens if, if you let's say want to create a distance tool like this and then all uh, nope. oh, that's for the constraint not this for constraining right we want to constrain so it didn't create because the um, it's overlapping uvs in uh, most cases uh, if you already have a nice model with uh, proper UVs, you probably would like to do maybe uh, like um, you know the uh, uh, what's it called layout, right? You can do uh, layout of the UVs to so that they don't overlap and the distance tool should work. Otherwise, if the UVs are not important, you can just select those. Uh, and then quick to do quick load auto UVs, which happens, you know, just do automatic UVs. And then um, you don't have to write go into UVs layout and whatever, just say do automatic and then uh, you can use the that, that That is, again, if the UVs are not important. If it's important, then you should do like check if it's overlapping or not or whatever. And the last thing is uh, there is now a preferences option, which is allow you, which allows you to uh, change the colors of the your distance tools, right? If you have like a z, let's say a z like this. Uh, let's create a couple of those. And then which the last one is all right. So now you can just uh, drag it and you know change uh, locator default locator scales, right? You can change locator scale and their uh, colors and whatnot. You can uh, save and close. You can reset them. I was I set like this, and this is all saved, right? You can save and close it, and next time you use it, it will uh, be the color you have set. Um, and that's pretty much, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the help camera. Uh, okay. Uh, if you have more questions, feel free to send me an email uh, over Gumroad. It's, uh, there is on this part of the description, there is the email on the, on the bottom, or you can contact me on Facebook or something. Yeah. Or you have, if you have problems or suggestions. Okay. Hope you find this useful. Cheers.